Okay, so when we talk about poverty, it is a global phenomenon that is not only circulated in developing countries, but also in developed countries. The definition of poverty is the inability to have access to a sustainable livelihood. Hunger, malnutrition, limited access to basic needs, services, social exclusion, social discrimination, all this happens due to poverty. Malaysia is also part of the developing countries that is affected with the um, issue of poverty. The main factor, one of the main factor of poverty is the inequality of income distribution among community. Various initiative, efforts, um, policies has been taken by the government to reduce the poverty. So during the 11th Malaysian Plan 2016 to 2020, government has planned and aspired to achieve the status of high income nation. And the aim of this plan is to um, improve and to increase the level income, the level of income among B40 groups and to reduce the poverty. One of the program conducted is One Azam. One Azam is also part of the income generation program for poverty eradication among B40s. The word Wan Azam is derived from Ahiri Zaman Miskin or Break the Cycle of Poverty. It was um, introduced in 2010 and fully implemented in 2011. The main purpose of Wan Azam is to break the cycle of poverty among B40s through their own effort. There is also um, one Azam in the East Malaysia which called as Wan Azam Sabah and one Azam Sarawak. They are mostly self-administered by, by their respective state government. There are five main programs under one Azam, which are Azam Tani, Azam Kerja, Azam Niaga, Azam Hitman, and Azam Banda. In the implementation of one Azam program, the effort of the government to make collaboration with the NGOs to elevating the Poverty in Malaysia had been resulted for the increasing number of additional corporate partners for this LIH and KRA 2.0 program that could be successful and able to achieve the target and goals. The GTP 2.0 had been emphasizing on greater collaboration for the positive impact as the increasing number of collaboration with NGOs and big companies helped to accelerate the target aid for the targeted key group that was stated in the GTP for the goal for the aids to be reached for the people in need. The government had been putting priority for people to have a proper home and shelter, especially for the survival and the well-being of the families come from low-income groups. The people who are homeless or staying in dilapidated and unsafe houses in Sarawak, the Corporate Social Responsibility CS CSR, the arm of the Construction Industry Development Board, had been taking initiative to visit the village with lack of facilities and basic infrastructures. They had been installing the power generator that supplying electricity in every houses and the communities of Orang Asli in Peninsula Malaysia. CIDB had agreed to build a new community centre as well as the facilities like toilets, uh, water tanks, and for the supply of clean water in every home for the homes in need. LIH and KRA with the Maikase Foundation work together in delivering nutritious foods and care for the needs with launching for a program that deliver food basket for the low income families in Longsan and Nusong Laku. This initiative had been done is to ensure that they will get help the basic nutrition needs. Moreover, LIH and KRA also had been focusing the measures to help improving the living conditions of people in the nation, especially in Sabah. They enhance on the access for the basic infrastructure that will help to improving the quality of life and for the comfort of the people. For example, Astro, the Malaysian media and entertainment holding company had been constructed for three block hostel comprises including a multi-purpose hall and a warden room in the Sekolah Kebangsaan Malinsaw in Radu. 
the Astro Hostel project had been constructed to help supporting the students in remote control area which they are unable to receive basic education because of the difficulties for the transport abilities to get to school. Astro also had been equipped the school with campus Astro learning system to help giving support for the local teachers in the school. This equipment comes with sets of television uh, and using the Astro uh, decoder for the access into 17 international and local channels for educational purpose. In addition, Astro also cooperate with the Majlis Guru Cemerlang Sabah to organize the workshops for students who will sit for UPSR so they will be able to come up with many ways for the students to study and revise for their subject. Next, the Petronas together with its NGO partner, uh, Mycasset Foundation had been together helping to raise the standards of living especially for the low-income household for almost 30,500 poverty-stricken families in the country. The families had been encouraged to take part in the activities to enhancing their skills for them to be free from the cycle of poverty. Uh, program Mycasset is the help program that will comprise on the informative talks and interactive group that will discuss on the prevention and for the yearly detection for cancers and the sharing information on the family planning. It also uh, include for the nutrition and healthy lifestyle also could be delivered for them. For the last, Petronas also had been appointed for a program called People System Consultancy that helped giving training for about 500 unemployed participants participants from the Sentuhan Harapan that was conducted for about three days. This program had been joined in hand by Moswell Sendrian Berhad who together provide saving skills training that will enable the participants to have productive employment upon on the completion. In addition, this program is an initiative that had been facilitating on the socio-economic development for the underprivileged in the terms of giving guidance, encourage and supporting the underprivileged communities in Malaysia in order to promote for uh, safe development of the people. In result, this is the proof that the government's effort to eradicate on the poverty in Malaysia could be contributed. Uh, first of all, uh, of course, uh, one as a program needs to be managed or handled by an individual or organization to ensure its effectiveness and efficiency in achieving its objective. Okay, uh, firstly, the One Azam program is led by the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development (KWPKM). It is one of the leading ministry in our uh, national key result areas and KRA aim at uh, raising the low-income people's uh, living standard. They are responsible for social welfare of the country. The mission of PWKM is to mainstream uh, women's and society's perspective in national development and strengthen the family institution to improve social welfare. In enhancing the function of one as a program, KPWKM uh, encourage the participants through Beyond One Azam program under One Azam program where uh, 2,000 participants uh, of One Azam program were chosen based on their products, uh, monthly income uh, and interest and were provided with microcredit from microcredit scheme uh, providers and commercial uh, banks as well as uh, skills training and additional equipment to help them expand their businesses. Through this, uh, we can see how much effort that KPWKM put into helping the people through this uh, one as a program. Okay, uh, the next ministry involved in one as a program is Ministry of Agriculture and Agro-based industry MOA, which is involved specifically for Azam Tani. Azam Tani receive uh, agricultural uh, equipment, livestock, and agricultural uh, inputs from the Ministry of Agriculture, and it provides 
participants with advice, coaching, and training. Through one Azam, it is found that the participants in the Azam Training Program want to learn how to maximize uh, work performance and labor productivity in the production environment. It shows that the positive impact by the participant as it fulfills one of one Azam one of Azam Tani objective which is to increase the knowledge of the participants. Other than that, uh, the ministry that involved for one Azam program is Ministry of Human Resources, which is specifically collaborated for uh, Azam Kerja. The Ministry of Human Resources has set four main goals uh, for the Azam Kerja program, including excluding poor households uh, and individuals who are registered in the EKC system through employment and offer job, uh, providing with alternative uh, sources of income, Next uh, is providing training opportunities for career adjustment. And lastly is to conduct uh, ongoing, ongoing effort through a variety of programs, changes and mental uh, motivation to encourage a uh, household to work and earn money. In addition, the Azam Kerja program uh, offers two types of assistance uh, which is uh, employment assistance program and training and income generating programs. The Ministry of Human Resources also helps in conducting the selection of employer or supervisors uh, training in accordance with the specified condition. Okay, so other than those uh, three ministries that have been mentioned, the Ministry of Agriculture and Family Development, Sarawak, Ministry of Housing and Local Government, and Amanah Itia Malaysia AIM were also involved in the implementation of one Azam program. Each involvement in this program played an important role to ensure the program achieved its objective. So the One Azam program was under the Government Transformation Government Transformation Program GTP and under the title of the Rising Living Standard of Ho Household Low Income National Key Area Result or in the short form we call it as LIH and KRA. So the program uh, the program which is this One Azam program is one of the government initiative to eradicate almost all instances of the hardcore poverty in Malaysia. Uh, in accordance with the word of Azam, it refers to Akhiri Zaman Kemiskinan or ending the era of poverty. This GTP was unveiled on 28 January to 2010 uh, by the former uh, Malaysian Prime Minister during that time, which is uh, Datuk Sri Muhammad Najib bin Abdul Razak, and this GTP was monitored by the Ministry of Women, Family and Communities Development. So, uh, the GTP has two phases, which is GTP 1.0 and GTP 2.0. So, uh, GTP 2.0 was uh, focused on the uh, by following the work by the by following the work started towards the end of the GTP 1.0. So there are several key different in GTP 1.0 and GTP 2.0. So first for the GTP 1.0, the key different is. Uh, Government lead broad approach to increasing to to managing the to managing low income uh, household which is extreme poor and poor. Then focus on the individual focus and last but not least to eradicate extreme poor by extreme poor category and to make sure more people 
above the property line index, the PLI. So, meanwhile, for JTP 2.0, uh, the key difference is uh, join uh, is about joint cooperation uh, between government, corporation, NGO, and CSO. Then GTP 2.0 uh, also is an individual focus, but leveraging the leveraging on families and community to drive uh, transformation among them. Last but not least, the key difference between GTP 1.0 and GTP 2.0 is the GTP to GTP 2.0 is permanently eradicate the poor. Uh, as with the eradicate extreme poor category and ensuring that they do not fall back uh, between their poverty lines. So, in a nutshell, uh, this program, uh, one Azam program, is not to is create not to make them rich but to help them to improve their monthly uh, income. Uh, also, uh, this program is one of the government initiative to eradicate the hardcore poverty in Malaysia. SWAT is a combination of the words strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. First of all, I will explain strengths of program 1 Azam. Strength refer to the resources or capability or capabilities in an organization that can be implemented more effectively to achieve the goals of the plan. The One Azam program have strengths such as the involvement from NGOs and ministry, strong main program, which is they have a five main program and strong financial uh, financial resources all these things are strengths that are already possessed and can be used to improve the management of the one azam program secondly label you refers to the weaknesses for this program weaknesses are referred to as elements of internal problems that have a negative characteristic towards the organization. Uh, in any program that has been introduced by the government, the program may have uh, weaknesses that need to be emphasized. Therefore, uh, each program that has been introduced needs to be examined uh, from various aspects to ensure that the program can achieve the objective that have been stated. Uh, through SWOT analysis, uh, the one Azam program has, has uh, weaknesses such as unsystematic system management, bad financial management, and misappropriation. Then, O refers to the opportunities. Opportunities can be defined as the different situations and chances for positive things to happen. The chances are something that people look for because it can give the benefits for business or organization in future. We cannot create the opportunities but we can find it obviously. The One Azam program actually can create the chance for the government and also can help the poor people to get a better life. For example, the One Azam program can help to create uh, job opportunities, uh, increase technology awareness and increase the rate of inflation. Last but not least, T refer to the treats traits can be defined uh, as anything that uh, that uh, could cause damage to the negative or external traits that might happen surrounding the organization. This means that uh, the trait does not benefit to the organization but 
there are no ways to stop it from happening. The one Azam program also has tricks such as uh, cyber crimes, uh, market competitor, and the changes of new technology. The one Azam program was initiated by Malaysian central government to push it poor people out of the fetters of poverty through their own efforts. This initiative was undertaken by the government to move the poverty groups out from the shackles of poverty and make them able to become competitive. The first challenge in implementing the One Azam program is participants not selected through the eCASI database. In view of the National Audit Department's control, it was not known the situation with 58% of 58 members taking the examination test. They were truth be told members, those information had not been put into the eCASE information base. Next, the challenge in implementing the One Azam program is late in the opening the One Azam special account. The National Welfare Foundation YKN under the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Improvement was the implementer of One Azam program took too long to even consider making the One Azam unique account. The delay in opening the record One Azam could not have been ascribed in the framework beginning in 2010. The challenge in implementing the One Azam program is no price details of the goods received by the participants. The candidates are qualified to acquire a remittance of 5,000 ringgit Malaysia as indicated by the One Azam programs. By and by, in the parcels that the members got, the KP, WKM and YKN did not choose a value goals in points of interest for the hardware parts. Lastly, the challenges in implementing the One Azam program is supplier's scope of service. The National Audit Department additionally discovered no proof to show that the members have utilized the gear provided by the providers has out to be a out of 10 respondents by and by this demonstrated that a bits of hardware they got were not durable they were handy harm in conclusion the implementation of the one azam program is indeed beneficial to the people especially in the aspect of poverty eradication even though some claim that one azam program is a failure due to, its, due to its flaws such as uh, the KPI in this program seems to be lower than the uh, poverty line income, it is still able to become the catalyst for the government to improve their future programs to help the people. Hence, in order to improve the implementation, suggestions such as upgrading the ICASI registry system need to be done. Overall, it is a good program but many improvement should be done to enhance its effectiveness. Thank you, that's all from us.